Hello everybody, what is up? Today I'm going to be doing a book review for you guys. The book that I'm reviewing today is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rash, and this is an ARC I received in exchange for honest review from HarperCollins Canada, and that's in no way going to change or affect my review in any way. So let's get right on into this review. By giving you guys a summary of the book and then go on to what I liked and what I disliked. This is a YA fantasy with three point of views, three different main characters. This is about a little island called Grace Lorray that is um, full of magic. They have these magical plants that grow naturally there and they overthrow their oppressors, Argrid, and this is pretty much what happens five years after the war has ended. And things are not going as smoothly as anyone thought they would after the war. Um, at a peace talk or a peace meeting, a delegate from Argrid goes missing and things get heated real quick. This book is really about what each person is willing to do for their country, um, for peace. The first main character, Adeluna, or Lou, was a child soldier. She was a spy and she also did some naughty naughty things uh, during the war since her parents were like the two heads of the rebellion. And then we have Vex, and Vex is also a naughty naughty boy. He is a pirate or a stream raider, um, and he and his crew have been on the run for a long time uh, because they've been doing bad stuff and everybody wants to catch them. And then we have Ben, who is a prince of Argrid, but he is also a heretic. He doesn't believe the same things as the rest of his country does. Um, he does not believe that Grace Laurie's magic is evil, and that is a very dangerous thought for him to be having, and if anybody finds this out, he's gonna be Lou being the daughter of these two rebels turned politicians feels very responsible for trying to make things work, and one day when things are kind of turned around during a peace meeting, Lou decides to enlist the help of Vex uh, to try and find a lost politician. So they're all on the run, pretty much. Everybody's on the run. And you see how their lives intertwine. I ended up giving these Rebel Waves 3.5 stars. It is very, very politic heavy. A lot of religion also. A lot of information you've got to pick up quickly, um, but there's also a lot of repetition, I felt like. I'm assuming in the second book there will be less info dumping because there will be less world building to do, uh, but I just found it, like, it. most of the book is politics. It, this is a very slow start. It didn't pick up until about 100 pages. For those of you that are wanting to pick up this book because everybody's calling it a gay pirate book, it's really not. Um, there are two gay couples in this. Uh, one is Prince Ben and his guard, and the other one is kind of like a side character situation, a female-female romance, but you don't see anything about that. I had a lot of trouble connecting to the characters. The only, um, character that I connected with was actually Lou. Um, so the other two characters I really didn't connect with. I liked the kick-ass women in this book though. My favorite character was actually a side character that we didn't see very often. Uh, her name was Nayeli and she was on um, Vex's crew and I also liked that this was a story about re-establishing after a war. Um, so what happens after on how you try and rebuild. Also shines a really bright light on immigration and refugees and what the different people have to overcome after a war. I will pick up the second book whenever that comes out. I enjoyed it enough to pick up the second book and I believe the second one will probably be better than the first. Like I said, less info dumping probably. In general, really cool concept. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up the second book whenever it comes out just to see where this goes. It's a really cool concept, it's just this book was just very heavy um, in the political and religious development and less in the magic system development, I feel. Let me know in the comments down below if you have already read it maybe 
or if you are planning to pick it up. That is it for this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!